What is the stupidest thing that ever came out of your mouth? When the cashier said have a nice day, and I replied with no, thanks, background, I wasn't thinking straight that day, and thought they said do you want a bag? Her, the twins are 3 years old, me, both of them, chatting to a homeless guy on the street and he told me he was feeling unwell, I told him he should be at home, resting, it's been 20 years and the memory of it still brings me out in a cold sweat. Watching the documentary The Last Dance when a Kobe interview pops up. Me. Wow. They must have filmed this before Kobe died. My wife. Yeah. Obviously. Asked my friend how his mom was doing at his mom's funeral. In my freshman year of college I was dorming next door to a couple cute girls. About a week into the first semester one girl walked from the co-ed showers to her dorm room and her towel still wet. We were both unlocking our doors to get in our rooms when she looks at me and says, I know I look stunning, sarcastically, to which I replied, don't flatter yourself. I had to slid a note under her door explaining I was tongue tied as she was beautiful and I meant to say don't be hard on yourself, you look great, or something to that nature. We became good friends. A couple of months ago, I got up and drove to work as usual. Later, my girlfriend texted me from home to ask me if she had left her sunglasses in my car. I told her I wasn't sure, but she could grab my spare key and go check in my car, which I had driven to work. In my head I was wondering what one pound of water would look like in terms of volume. What I said out loud however was how much does a pound of water weigh? I was about 4 months into my current job, feeling confident being fresh off the contract a higher period. Now moved into a coveted full time role. While walking back to my office from the morning kanban I was stopped by my boss, head peeking out of the office. Boss, hey the mediator, do you have a sec? Me, for you, I've got lots of sex. Boss, wide eyes, mouth dropped. If you're curious why this was incredibly stupid embarrassing, try saying the phrase lots of sex out loud. Preferably, not to your boss though. Girl I was interested in gave me her number out of the blue. I asked, why? It was my birthday and it was getting cold outside so I announced to everyone that I was going inside to put on long sleeve pants. Probably the time I was on my honeymoon in Hawaii when I asked my new husband why there wasn't a bridge to Hawaii. Me. I mean. If there can be a bridge to Alaska, why can't there be a bridge to Hawaii? Husband. There's not a bridge to Alaska though. Me. Then how do people drive there? Husband Canada. Canada is a bridge. Still just about die of embarrassment every time I think about that one. I was wondering why they had shut the gate at my kid's school and I looked around and saw heaps of crows and I said to another parent probably shut the gates to keep the crows out as soon as it left my mouth I remembered they can fly. The other parent lost it laughing and I wanted the floor to swallow me up. When our cat was having kittens, a friend was petting one of them and I said, yeah no, her mum's also a cat. Me chatting with a stunningly cute girl I met at a university party 20 years ago. Oh, I have hemophilia, me, oh cool, so do you know on some level that you're not really sick, oh, that's hypochondria, me, oh yeah, that's right okay by quickly leaves the party in quiet shame. But what about the duck's back legs, I didn't even immediately rethink it when my friend just stared at me. Me when I was 10 something years old, mom, did you take showers without water in your time? I was discussing my husband's experience with a childhood urinary tract infection. We're both medical, so not that weird, and I asked if he was circumcised. My. Husband. When I explained to my dad that my boyfriend really liked BJ's, while they were both sitting there meeting each other for the first time, BJ's is a restaurant chain where I live. What month is April in? I hadn't slept in a couple days and was trying to figure out what the date was. Once a friend was taking a graphic design class, they asked me for my opinion on a project they was doing. They had to redesign road signs. They asked me if they should have a hand on the sign or the word stop. I said you should have the word stop because blind people can't see the hand. They then looked at me and asked you know blind people won't be able to read stop either. I thought blind people could somehow read letters like a normal person, but couldn't see anything else. I said okay, 
after a girl was breaking up with me, not realizing what happened. While out for a walk I admired a cute dog. I wanted to ask what breed it was but my brain wasn't working. Instead I asked what brand is your dog, which startled the owner, and myself. My attempt at correcting myself resulted in me blurting out species, which only made matters worse. Many years ago I texted my cousin I can't find my phone anywhere, the same phone I was texting him on. Did a meet and greet with a musician at a concert and said you're a huge fan of mine awkward silence. I've stopped myself multiple times from asking my parents how old was I when I was born, I just have an urge to ask that sometimes. I got off a red eye, very sleep deprived, and realized I forgot my glasses on the plane. I asked the very kind gate agent if she could go check my seats to see if she could find them, while she was gone. I touched my face and felt my glasses. I was mortified and apologized profusely when she returned. She was really nice about it though. F what is my name again? Pulled up at Hungry Jack's drive through ordered nuggets and a McFluffy, hysterical laughter over speaker, mom it's a McFlurry, and this is Hungry Jack's. My teenagers still bring it up. Do they speak Spanish in Spain? No, they speak Espanol. Me last Friday after a long terrible day, trying to return an item, cashier, I'm gonna need your name, me, no thanks. Asking a lady when the baby was due when she wasn't pregnant, never ever did that again, never ever, under any circumstance, say anything that might seem to even imply you think a woman is pregnant, unless either she herself has already explicitly told you that is the case or you can see a baby emerging from her at this moment. When I was getting my COVID vaccine I asked what shape the needle was, pointy. When my ex-girlfriend asked me if I could imagine a future with her and I said no, well, you weren't wrong. This ice is cold. High school quiz bowl, basically team jeopardy, 9 letter word for said forcefully or excitedly, me, ejaculated, it was exclaimed, ejaculated has 10 letters and while technically could have otherwise been correct. For example, the Snape ejaculated Slawn meme. That nuance was lost on a room full of high school kids. It was cloudy enough that I could see the shape of the sun behind the clouds. I, she not, looked at my husband and said oh, I didn't know there would be a full sun today, like a full moon but the sun. The look my husband gave me had me reconsidering that master's degree I have. Dentist asked me for my date of birth, I told them my full name instead. A penny. When I was a child I shoved a penny so far up my nose that they had to take it out through my mouth with dental tools. When I was living up in Fairbanks, I was out driving with my parents one day. There was a truck in front of us that had a decal on the back window. It had the word home written, except that the O was replaced with an outline of the state of Alaska. My dad says, oh, that's cute. They replaced the O in home with Alaska. My response. Thanks for explaining that, because I had no idea what Halos game meant. I was getting a haircut and I told my barber I was going to a friend's birthday party later, as I was leaving. He told me to have fun at the party and my dummy replied with you too. I will never forget the look of confusion on his face. I was like 18 or 19 and still thought the term rabbit dog was rabbit dog and I said that out loud in a car with my friends. I still remember the exact location we were driving by when it came out of my mouth because I felt so stupid. Not me but my wife came out with a classic the other day. For a bit of backstory, a large car park near our apartment had teenagers doing wheel spins and donuts on there on Saturday night right into the early hours. My wife somehow slept through it but it was a right racket. I and some neighbors even called the police it was that bad but they never bothered to come by. Anyway, I was talking about it to my wife the next day and it went something like this. Me. There were a load of idiots doing donuts and wheel spins in the car park last night. I even called the police it was that bad. Her, oh, that's terrible. And such a waste of donuts too. Why buy them just to throw them at each other? Me. Laughs. Thinking she's joking. Wife. Do you get what I mean though? They could have just eaten them instead. Me. Do you honestly not know what a cardo nut is? Wife. No. I cracked up. But she honestly had no idea what a cardo nut was. She thought I said they were throwing donuts lol. During my supermarket days. 
Somebody asked me where the toilets were. I replied we don't sell toilets. I still cringe. One of the many that I can actually remember because my husband will never let me live it down was being at a farmer's market and reading a handwritten sign out loud that said papaya and then asking my husband what it was. It's papaya he replied. I used to swear that pigs can't walk backwards. I'd heard it somewhere when I was little and it made sense as to why they're associated with new year they only move forwards. I apologize to all the people I passed this ridiculousness on to over my life. I was a cashier about a year ago and I had to unlock the bathroom for people when they needed to go. So anyways, I unlock the bathroom for this guy and he says thanks and I replied have a good one. That's what I always said when people left, after they bought something, not when they're going to sh- I hated that job. I worked in politics in the early to mid 2000s. I'm in DC we were going to the White House for a photo shoot with the potters and some legislators. I was one of a few folks taking the pics for the people from my state. I walk up to a gate, not necessarily the right one, and a uniformed secret service officer with an automatic weapon and ask where's the Oval Office I'm supposed to shoot the president? He cocks his head to the side and I'm immediately like that was a really stupid way to ask that questions wasn't it? He deadpan said yep and you couldn't see it even if I told you. I explained I was supposed to enter on a certain side and I was trying to figure out where. He made a gesture in a direction. I thanked him apologized again and walked away. I hear him laughing behind me as he radioed the other gate. I got to the proper gate and the agent looks at me and says well you must be our shooter and sniggers. I replayed that in my head a 100x over.